Okay, we have some summon difference identity help. We're going to do one of the questions. It says find the exact value of sine of alpha plus beta if sine of alpha equals 5 thirteenths and it's in uh, the restrictions are for alpha negative 3 pi over 2 is less than alpha is less than negative pi. That kind of tells us that it's going to be in the second quadrant. And over here, tangent of beta is given to be negative square root of 3, and it's got to be from pi over 2 to pi, which is also uh, the second quadrant. So let's graph these out to kind of see where these lie. So here's sine, here's alpha, 5 thirteenths. This has got to be 12, but since it's in the second quadrant, it's got to be negative 12. And over here, we're also in the second quadrant. Here's beta, beta. So we have, that's square to 3 over negative 1. The negative can't be up. So we have to have the negative on the x value. All right. So if we have square to 3 squared is 3 plus the 1 is 4, so that would be 2. All right. So now we need to look at the identities. Here's the identities. And here's sine of alpha plus beta right here. Okay, so we're going to take sine of alpha cosine of beta plus cosine of alpha sine of beta and put that all together. So let's go ahead and do that. Get another color. That's sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. All right, so we're going to substitute in. We're just going to look at our angles. Alpha sine of alpha is 5 thirteenths. Actually, that was given in the original problem. Cosine of beta, here's beta. Cosine is negative 1 half. Cosine of alpha, negative 12 thirteenths. And sine of beta, is square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so we ended up getting negative 5 over 26 plus, and we get negative 12 square root of 3 over 26. We reduce that one more step. We have a common denominator. Negative 5 minus 12 square root of 3 over 26.